This video is going to demonstrate the temporary end and the jump label command or jump land command, some people call it. I've got uh, input 1 to trigger output 2, 0. So I'll go ahead and close that switch. And you can see that I also have that same input down below the temporary end line. Now we could see the inputs being triggered, but this output is not being triggered because of the temporary end in this rung. Up here, we are triggering the output that you see above the temporary end to zero. I will now open the switch, and I will trigger this input, one zero, to activate the jump command. The jump command goes to the corresponding label command. So we have Q20. When this gets activated and goes true, it will jump over this rung, rung 1, it will jump over rung 2, which is the temporary end, and land at this label point right here. The jump command has now been activated, and now when I activate switch 1-1, one, one, you'd see up here, we're still seeing it activated, but this output is not triggered, because we're ignoring this rung's outputs by jumping over these two rungs and landing here at rung 3. So we've triggered output 4-0. Now if I remove the jump command while this is true, it will remember that this output was triggered and basically keep it latched in. Even though I'm toggling that input, you could see that that output is still on. That's because we quit jumping over these rungs and now we have a temporary end. The program remembers this output in its last state. I'll now uh, trigger the jump command again. This switch is open or false. So this now removes that output and now the rungs are back to their normal condition. 